is Edge of Night, the worst item for crowd divers, can Kiana print item anvils with the help of an augment and is gold collector on Sona, the ultimate money maker. Welcome to the 5th episode of the TFT Mythbuster series for set 10, let's get started. For our first myth, let's take a look at Kiana, who has proven herself as one of the most interesting legendaries in the game. She definitely deserves her own video, because so many interactions about her can be rather confusing. But for now, let's just take a look at the following myth. Kiana does not interact with the Augment Component Buffet. Ok, so what exactly is this myth about? If Kiana has an item and the true damage trait is active and then she kills a unit that has a craftable item, she will generate a permanent component. The Augment Component Buffet transforms components that you receive into component anvils instead. According to the myth, these two effects do not synergize with each other. Thankfully, this is a very easy myth to test. All we need is to open the game with the correct augment, rush towards level 9 and make sure Kiana is strong enough to get some kills with her ability. In this fight, we are running two Kianas just for good measure and in their combined effort, they managed to print a total of three components. All we have to do now is to pick them up and we can see that three item anvils spawn on the bench. So this interaction does in fact work, making Kiana extremely powerful in combination with this augment since you can continue to build best in slot items for the rest of your team. This myth is busted. For our second myth, let's take a look at the item Edge of Night. Arguably, this is the most important defensive item for any melee carry ever since Rapid Fire Cannon was removed. I mean sure, Quicksilver is useful, but the aggro drop and the anti-burst mechanic from Edge of Night often feel more useful when it comes to keeping your carry alive. But does this item treat everyone the same? The myth states, Edge of Night doesn't work on crowd divers. Well, that's certainly quite a statement to make and super easy to test. Just put some crowd divers in the front line, give them a bunch of edge of knights, wait for the comet to start and hey, everything is working as intended. Case solved, right? Well, not exactly. To get behind the source of this myth, we have to dig a bit deeper. For example, take a look at this fight. Here you have a Yona with an edge of knight and a titan's resolve. The opponent has an extremely powerful Katarina 3 star. At the start of the fight, Yona is only busy with the enemy Nico until the enemy Evelyn is taken out, stunning both him and Mordekaiser. As you can see, he has barely taken any damage so far. But then all of a sudden, his crowd diver activates and he jumps to the enemy Lilia. What happened here? The interaction is easier to spot in the following example. Here we have a Kiana 1 star with an edge of night in front of a very powerful Bard 3 star. Seconds into the fight, Bard pulls out a saxophone and Kiana completely nopes out of the fight. But this is not a case of Kiana absolutely despising jazz players, something else is causing this. The whole interaction reminded me of something that I tested in the past. If you put a Zonia's Paradox and an Edge of Night on the same unit, then it is possible for Zonia's to proc first, even though Edge of Night's threshold is higher at 60%. The reason for this interaction is likely what is causing crowd divers to jump early. If they are hit by an attack that would drop their HP to zero, the crowd diver jump will take priority over edge of night the same way Zonyas would take priority. It is possible that my guess here is wrong and the reason behind it is something else, but I still think the myth is confirmed if we just make a tiny change to it. For our last move, let's take a look at the Orn Artifact Gold Collector. The item executes enemies below 12% HP and has a 40% chance to drop one gold. It still has some pretty cool interactions with items like Hurricane, but how does it interact with Sona? The myth states, Sona's on-hit ability can proc Gold Collector. So for this myth, we are mainly looking at the ethereal version of Sona. She can grant your entire team attack speed and a buff that causes magic damage with every attack for a short amount of time. To confirm this myth, there are a few things we have to look out for. Either the red cross animation, if a unit gets executed, gold drops on the board or simply check if Sona has any true damage in the damage statistic. After all, she should not be able to proc the item herself when there are still allied units around. In this fight, we have a solid setup with level 9, with a Sona 2 star running around with a Shojun, an adaptive helm and a gold collector. The comet starts, everything is going well and Sona proceeds to buff her entire team. 
all of a sudden you can see that this is causing mayhem right away. Enemy units are executed left and right with gold dropping everywhere. Now to be fair, I do have the Spoils of War augment, which is adding some bonus gold, but you can also see in the damage statistic how Sona has a decent amount of true damage, which is caused by gold collector. I think it's safe to say that this myth is confirmed. Three more myths down and many more to go. Which myth so far was your favorite? Is there anything you want me to test in the future? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something and see you next time.